Hey guys, my name is Ryan, and we're back again with another Spirit Island video. Today, we're going to continue Vengeance Week, and we're going to be playing against Brandenburg Prussia on board F. So let's see how we do. Starting off with the Jungles and Sands. All right. So we're going to do our normal opening. We're going to be gaining a power card on turn one. Against Prussia, there's plenty of great things that can do work for us. Visions of Fiery Doom, push and explore out. But Domesticated Animal Goes Berserk is going to be the pick here. It has both of our elements. Um, it also gives us the Defend 5. So we'll be able to utilize the Dahan to our advantage. Carapace Land is another option, right? Pair with the Strike Low for a Defend 6. But it is less reliable, even though it is cheaper. Um, I do think Domesticated Animals is usually going to be better. Gift of Constancy is a very nice card, but against Prussia, you don't want to dirtle around with these like super nice value cards in the early game. You kind of want to just get to the action. And so Domesticated Animals is going to be the pick. Uh, it's going to provide tons of value over the course of the game. And so uh, Fiery Vengeance is a very nice card to open up with in this matchup. Just pick off the Explorer and try and snowball from there. Especially if we get the back-to-back -back on jungles. Like, that's really nice for us. Uh, we could also go for two card plays, throw Fetid Breath out there. So that way, next turn, we could consider maybe gaining a card for the extra energy, play Domesticated Animals plus Plague Bearers, um, in order to push around. Like, let's say we get Wetlands next, right? Drop the Disease here, then Plague Bearers everything out. So I think that's the line we're going to go for. But by choosing that line, we're probably taking two Blight. Yeah, we got Coastal. Interesting. Well, this Defend is going to gain tons of value. <laughs> Interesting. Well, that does not give us any potential value with this Plague Bearers. I think we're just going to go right there with it. So then the question becomes, what do we want to do on this turn? And we don't want to play Domesticated Animals. We could Strike Low here now. We're going to either Strike Low at now or next turn. Um, but I'm inclined to just gain a card uh, when we have the opportunity. And... Hmm... So we play both of these right now. That's tricky. That is tricky. I think we're going to go Plague Bears, Domesticated Animals, and then we're going to gain a card to match with that Strike Low. Because I do, we need the energy. We're, we're a fairly energy um, consumptive spirit. And so the only other question is, like, where do we put our other presence? Another line could be that we do this and then reclaim and then domesticated animals again over here in land number three. I think that might be the play. Explorer to a land with blight. Okay, that's totally fine. Um, push from a beast doesn't do anything. And then... Okay, we get a little bit of free Dahan damage. Um, but actually, this one damage is going to make the difference right here. That's amazing. That really changes it. Strife's a town. Well, I think it doesn't matter, because we're planning on killing this. Uh, so, yeah. I think, I guess we'll put it here. I could imagine a situation where we don't kill that town. It's like very narrow, but you know, it's uh it's fine. Let's see. Cuz if we remove the disease and it explores, then we kill the explorer and we let the and we let this just play out like it's showing right here. 
if we let the city build, then we have to find a way to deal with it. So I think we just stop the build. Okay. And now in this situation, I think we just kill it just to, like, gain value. Or, let's see. No, we'll just add the town here, kill this, let that play out for its value on its face. Okay. And we... If we use this, we are obligated to do a push, which is fine, um, but we'll just do something like that. Not move the disease. Playing straight into uh, getting stricken. <laughs> uh, so for here, if we were to reclaim, we can play all that stuff and... We could also go for a little bit more of aggressive lines. We're going to play strike low plus something. Maybe we add our presence over here from our growth so we can domesticated animals this land. So we're going to milk this for just a hair more value. Here there will be monsters is interesting, just produces some fear and some control. Hmm. Swarming wasp adding beasts is like, whatever. You're just taking it for the elements, but we don't necessarily care about the elements. Do we have destroyed presence? We do not. I was going to say we could um, push out and explore and then fiery vengeance, the other one. I think we just take here there be monsters, just get some fear. We can strike low you, kill a town. And we can build in a land with a city and just get a free fear. Okay, Beast doesn't do anything. Gather a Dahan into a land with Dahan and then defend per Dahan. We, there's no extra bonus damage happening here. So let's just go over here since we know we're going to be using the Dahan soon anyways. I think that decision is really, really just irrelevant. Okay, explore on the wetlands, so let's just add the town over here. And perhaps we use here there be monsters right here, just get the extra fear and just kind of get control of our situation. If we reclaim our playing domesticated animals, considering here we could also domesticated animals right here and just let this play out, but that would mean flipping the blight card. It is less blight total to go here though. Ooh, Encompassing Ward. It's actually like semi-playable here. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be... I mean, like, it would solve that. Even if we didn't push the Explorer in, we'd still be in a tricky situation. Gold's Allure is an interesting one, because we could just let this build, gather stuff out, and then we'll be pre-solved in everything for the Wetlands. Uh, so that way we could start trying to play ahead a little bit. So I think we're going to go with that plan. So let's say we do this, and then we do this. I think that's fine. And then next turn we grow up to three card plays, probably play like Fetid Breath, Plague Bearers. Uh, if we lose a presence, we can Fiery Vengeance something. This produces less total blight, which I think is fine. Also, we get like the Dahan defend. Even though we just burned up a bunch of uh, free defense from Dahan cards last turn, it's still possible. There's still quite a few of them in the deck. Build a land with invaders not matching a build card. Uh, so we could just go like here in the city. Or we could go right here because there is no invaders. Oh, this is built on a land, not in a terrain. Okay, in that case, we'll just go right here to the disease. Just get the extra fear. Um, and bada-boom. Free solved land. You love to see it. And then another, another free solved land. 
With that, uh, with that strife right there, it also plays around us getting explored wetlands again. We explore, uh, we can uh, gold to lure out the non-strife one, and then even if like, no, we almost actively want it to explore at that point, right? Because uh, it'll just solve itself. Oh, I wasn't even reading. Do we get a fear card that stopped the? Uh... Oh, sick. This is like my favorite one in the game because you just get like a whole free turn. You can get so absurdly ahead of the invaders that the game just becomes easy. Uh, let's see. Make sure I get the non-strifed one. And we get one damage, and he does have reduced health, so that's just a town kill. We get the bonus damage. We'll just kill the one without strife because I don't really care about the explorers. Sweet. Oh, man, what do we do with all this freedom? <laughs> uh, let's just go straight bottom and try and get ourselves to become huge. Probably do all this and then gain a major. So, Ravages Assault, we don't need you. We have no Destroyed Presence, we don't need you. So that means there's only three cards left for us to play. It's only one land with disease, so this turn's kind of playing itself. Okay, um, right, the, the plus one damage to the Han, all those little things is why Strife is just, you know, just always leave it there. You never know what kind of unfortunate situations could happen. Three health from a land with disease, uh, or an explore from an inland land. Well, we'll just take the uh, town removal. All right, Sand Wetlands, very nice. <laughs> and actually, I was just saying that if we got the back-to-back -back wetlands, then this land would have full solved itself. So we could make the argument that we were just really hurt by not getting that explore immediately. So let's see, how do we want to play this? Um, I'm thinking... I mean, here they're wrong, so let's just maximize our fear. No reason not to. But I'm thinking maybe we'll take these guys, put everything into the sands, and then just start hammering down on the land. Another idea would be to... Because um, really, we got to kill this city. And if we kill the city, we only need six more fear. So this land number eight has to be the center of our attention. So anything that gets invaders into land number eight is going to be good for us. And this turn, I think we just... There's no reason to, like, stall for a major and underplay cards. Yeah, we'll just play this as aggressive as we can. We very well could win the game this turn. Uh, so, let's see. Bench of the Dead, Poison Dew. We are looking at double builds here, so if there's a way that we can win fast, that'd be super exciting. And so we need... Um, six total fear, two of which comes from destroying a city, so we need a city plus four fear. So something like Vengeance of the Dead gets us there. Uh, we have no destroyed presence. So what if we did something like Vengeance of the Dead, um, getting rid of, uh, I guess, Fiery Vengeance? Maybe Fetid Breath? Eh, Fiery Vengeance. So if we do something like this... Uh, plus you and you gives us plenty of innate, gives us a lot of fear. How much damage do we get? We get two per dodge. We get three damage. Kill that. Vengeance. Give us one damage in adjacent land, which is insufficient. Hmm... Not sure we make it on this turn. Yeah, we just do, we get one damage, so let's just clear this land, have one less city to worry about. Oh, Numinous Crisis. I forgot Numinous Crisis is still on the app version. 
Um, so we can get Blight onto it by returning a Presence back to our Presence track, which is totally fine. So we would forget two power cards is another option. Probably a better option. Or Strength. Just uh, forget. Probably don't need this uh, Fetid Breath anymore. And probably don't need... Um, strike low either. Because we could just gain a major and then just play it. Because we should only have... We can consume the disease here, so we have just one city land. Oh wait, we got one fear per board with, um, disease, which means we just win right here. Bada boom. <laughs> we were never stressed. We were never worried. Look at that. Vengeance of the Dead, best major in the game. You heard it here first. We couldn't have won if we took any other major besides that. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed the second installment of Vengeance Week, and I'll see you back here tomorrow.